الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين بارئ الخلائق المعين وصلى الله على أشرف الأنبياء والمسلين حبيب إله العالمين أبي القاسم محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين المظلومين الذين أذهب الله عنهم الرسا وطهرهم تطهيرا اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد وعجل فرج This Majlis MashaAllah I see that many people have organized this Islamic Center this was in here it is very encouraging to see our younger people younger ones you know boys and girls take part in our center's programs and to take leadership roles and organize uh, events suited for those of us who are not very you know good in Urdu and other languages. English is the language of this country obviously and the message of Islam has to be promoted through whatever means and resources we have. In any society we go and live you must have use the means, uh, any media you have, any means and resources you have by way, by, by way of which we can get your message across to as many people as possible. The fact that uh, the message uh, was not precise Allah. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad wa ajjil farajam. Another salawat. اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد وعجل فرجهم. الحمد لله. See without technology and resources you really cannot do anything. So my topic tonight is connection with Imam Zaman عليه السلام. اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد وعجل فرجهم. We have a dua that's called dua al-mudba. Dua literature, you know, literature of Dua in Shia Islam is the best in the world. Just by, you can just see the number of Duas we have with any Duas of any other religion, religious tradition. And within Islam, all the Duas, 90 something percent of them have come through Shia resources, our books. And all the Duas that are authentic have come from the Holy Prophet and Ahlul Bayt alayhi salatu the Ahlul Bayt, the 12th of Imam, 14th Masumeen. Dua Nudba has been narrated from Imam Jafar Sadiq alayhi salatu 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 I'm not talking about the Dua itself that much because that's a lengthy discussion. The meanings of the phrases and rhyming words of Duas and all of that. I will just give you a little bit, if we get time, about the the three, three parts of Dua Nudba which it covers. Uh, namely, uh, one, the role of Imams, all of the role, mission of the Imams, that's the first part, Dua Nudba talks about it. The second part is the connection of Imam Zaman with the rest of the Imams, you know, Yabna Sadatil, you know, all of that. The last part, which is the most important part, is the connection and the duties of Mu'mineen with Imam Zaman that is the third and most important part of dua where you see for example benafsi anta min muqayyaban lam yakhlu anna you know may i give my life to you ya sahib az zaman that you are a, you are a one who is muqayyab muqayyab means disappear the oh the disappeared one who has not disappeared who is close to me so that uh, covers a number of so each section has rhyming words which which are basically miraculous words because just as in this universe you see the organization of things right so you them have beauty of creation yes order of things beauty of like your face you look at your face how allah has designed it if eyes were somewhere else what would have happened you know ears were not where they are what would have happened Look how Allah has designed the organization. Organization is, is the 
And the better the organization, the more you have to look at the who has put this organization together, the order together, right? Harmony in creation. You know, get into into the library, you see every book has been put in the right place, classified, categorized, you know? And well, it comes to your mind that this is a very orderly place. These people are organized, right? If this library is all messed up, books thrown in different places that you can't find anything in this right place, this, this place, nobody took care of this place, right? Order points to organizer. Every time you see an order, points to an organizer that had knowledge. Knowledge and means and resources, no power to do that. Knowledge, uh, the order in the universe, same way. Order on this planet Earth, same way. You see how many times many of us have observed a beautiful bird with ten different colors in it. Or a fish, you know, with similar uh, amazing colors. See, that, my God, flowers, what amazingly beautiful flowers are out there. Just, just look at it. Smell it, the natural fragrance of these flowers. All of these things you see, it shows the, the, that there is an organizer, right? And the organizer had knowledge and power to make it happen, all of that. Similarly, in written uh, things, also the same thing, written creation. The natural creation, the written creation. The Holy Quran is, is the creation of Allah, just as Planets and animals and everything is the creation of Allah. Holy Quran is a, is a creation of Allah. And when the Holy Prophet brought this book to the people, in a time where they appreciated the beauty of language, they knew, like, you know, it's a person who can put together words in a, in a better uh, organization, right? He is superior in the, the, the quality of poetry. It showed the ranks of the, the best of the poetry, best seven pieces of Arabic poetry were put, they were hung on the wall of Kaaba, the best of them. So that was the time they, they could understand that. And according to one narration, someone asked Imam Ali alayhi salatu wa salam. Who is the best poet? Best poet. So, now the answer is amazing. Imam said, poets have gone in different directions. Now, he's not talking about Muslim poets or Shia poets or Haq or Batil. So, poets as poets. He said, poets have gone in different directions. But if you look at the, the quality and amount of poetry, the best of them is Imra al -Qais. Imam used the Al-Malik al he used this, ref referring to... <laughs> The, the lead means the most gumrah person who is referring to Imra al -Qais. Among the seven poetry pieces of poetry that were hung on the wall of Kaaba, Imra al -Qais was the best one. So the seven collection of those seven poetries are still existing. They are taught in places that they should be taught. Now there's a lot of all kinds of garbage in it, like in terms of meaning, but the language is superb. Superb language. There's no match for it in Arabic language until Qur'an was revealed. And the words of Ahlul Bayt came, like you know, the Bani Hashim were the most afsahu nas they were most fasih. And Abu Talib and others, you know, the same family, like that. So, organization of words points to the organizer and the writer and the poet the same way as the organization of a creation. So if you, let's say, there's, there's a time you know the chain of narrators, so-and-so narrator from so-and-so, we have that. But the, the more important thing is not the chain of narrators. The more important thing is the, the thing, the product that you have in front of you. And you just glance through it. You see that, you know, how beautifully it has been put together, composed. No match, though. I know it's from both for our sixth Imam and also from Imam Sahib al-Asri was the man. Allah, 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 Allah,
from the Imam, whatever be the case. But they were trusted so much that when one of the Sufara, Fazar Badufari was one of them, when he said, This has come from Nahi Muqaddasa, no one asked them any question. There was in Fuqaha, our Shia Walama, from that time till today, the word of Rewayat of people like Wazufari and such others who are taken as Qawl of Imam. Because the whole idea of why you have a Naib is because you will, the name of Imam would not come, a connection would be, not be disclosed because of security reasons. So when so and so said, that means it's enough. That important. So al is like that. Another topic. Our sixth Imam, one day, I will narrate a revival for you. It's really, really very important. So the, the discussion is not about Dua al-Nutba as such. It's about connection with Imam Zaman al -Islam. Now, one point I would add. Among the 14 Masumin, the top five personalities are, who are the top five? We are the first five. The Holy Prophet and Imam Ali and Sayyidah Fatima Zahra, Imam Hassan, Imam Hussain, Imam Salam. Salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. So the next nine personalities are from Imam Sayyidah Shahada's children, right? Yeah. Grandchildren. Among them, the, the personality that is of highest rank from those nine personalities is Imam Zaman Ali Sa. Allah And the seniority of Imam Zaman among the nine Masumi is because his complete tabi of Sayyidah Fatwa Tuzah. His mission, his his everything, he will come, he bring out the whole truth. Just as Bibi Fatwa Tuzah, when he she, she came out against the the Khalifa, the so called he delivered the Khutbah Fadak. That was the whole truth of Islam. And that's why, for the fact that she stood and in a very uncompromising way, the, direct, the order given to Imam Ali was different from the order of Sayyidah Fatima Zazar. Although Imam Ali was a sabr, right? The Fatima Zazar was not given that order by Holy Prophet. She stood very clearly against all that wrong that was going on. Standing by the side of Imam Ali al -Islam, against those people, very open and clear about those. In the Khutbah Fadakiyah, Sayyidah Salaam basically calls for jihad. Two places in that Khutbah. She says, where are you Ansar? Rights, my rights are taken away from them and you have the resources and you are watching, sitting and watching. He said, what is this? Call to, call to arms, jihad. Twice in that Khutbah she does that. That, that's why she was killed. You can't live. I mean, this is the way things have been. That's why Sheikh Khan Nimr was killed. That's why Shaykh Bakr was killed. You come out with the whole truth, they come against you, obviously. But then you have, you have a, a tijarat with Allah that we are doing. Tijarat with Allah. Some people take that responsibility in their hands. That now is the time I come out with the whole truth. Some do that. You are not to, they are not to be blamed. Yeah, some people say, oh, they should have been a little bit more diplomatic. Well, fine, that has had its own place. But then there are some who say that, no, this is not the place for diplomacy. This is not a place for, I'm using perhaps the wrong word, being politically correct or, or being a little soft in your tone or not, or not mentioning the whole truth. Let's put it that way. Tackling one issue at a time. Whatever you whatever language you use. But Sahih al -Asir was the one, he will come out like his mother, Father Muhammad Zahra That's the thing about it. And that's why he is waiting until the right time. You come out with the whole truth and bring justice in this world, not a small agenda. Right? You have this uh, from in the book of uh, Sheikh al-Saduq, Kamaluddin, of uh, Tamam al -Ni'ma, very famous book of Sheikh uh, Saduq al-Allah Muqamu, he mentions from his sources, he goes to the four most important among the top. So Imam Sadiq al islam had, had 4,000 people were learning from him, right? You see, from those 4,000, the top, let's say, 20 or 30 of them, 50 of them, right? 
Among them, four of them were present. I mean, their riwayat and ahadith are accepted by ulama, without question. Without question. All four of them came to see Imam. Who are those? Sudayr al-Sayrafi is one of them. He says, I, Mufaddal ibn Umar, and uh, Dawood ibn Kathir al-Riqi, and Abu, ba Abu Basir, five of them, and Abal ibn Tughlaq. Five of us, we came to the house of our sixth Imam. We came, and as we, we came inside the sahan of the house, we saw Farainahu Jalisan Ala Turab. We said Imam is sitting on the on the mud. Mati or khat par, you know. Jalisan ala turab wa alayhi mashun khaybariun. Having this khaybari rida, rida on his shoulder. Bil ajaybin muqassir al kumain and his his sleeves are short. Right? I'm wearing a very simple shirt that doesn't even have any pockets in it.